Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. My name as it reads on my birth certificate, and eventually, way down the line, the death certificate will be Theodore T. Velvet. Um, we are trying to figure out what Jimmy slash Hugo slash Senpai did on stage to offend this lady that was really stupid. I don't think I have every item I need. When you refresh it, try the ring and the great Hugo. Once. I tried it and it didn't work. I will uh, I'll see about trying it again. It seems really weird. That's the copper wire. That's the copper wire. I I tried the copper wire. Alright, we'll try the copper wire again. It might it might have the game might have kind of glitched out on me a little bit. Maybe that's why it wasn't working. Okay, Rose. Is anyone there? Hello. Is it Rose? Let's try, uh... I saw you in the ballroom. The audience was booing and you were apologizing. What was happening? Try Rose and... It wasn't Jimmy on stage anymore. It was Hugo Punch, his comedy character. Hugo started insulting That's who was advertised and she acts surprised. And he seemed to be enjoying it. And one night after the show, a guest told Jimmy what she thought of him. Jimmy lost his temper. Okay. He did something strange. Okay, so now we go to the copper wire. What was the coil of wire used for? Jimmy used to carry wire around with him. He liked playing around with electronics. All right, so what electronics? When you said Jimmy lost his temper and did something stupid, is that connected to what you said about the coil of wire? Oh, he just fucking tied her straight up. I found her and let her go. Jimmy said it was a joke. She didn't press charges. And why the hell not? The man tied you up in a goddamn room with copper wire. I would definitely press charges. way in order to see it. Boom, boom. What's the dealio? weird this is hall can we have a word please a word of 12 oh can we finally go in here oh we gotta find the key don't we Is it Rose? Yes, I'm Rose. Ah, still at it, indeed. Still. I saw you upset. People were knocking on the door, asking questions. Who were they? They. Journalists. Or journalists. They wanted to. From the newspaper. But Jimmy wasn't in control. It was Hugo Punch who tied the woman up. It don't matter. Like, you don't get it that, that Hugo was the one that killed Dr. Bose and 
Harvey, like you can't you can't put those two together, can you? You just wanted to leave everything behind and let go. He did. Well, what kind of possible proof is there that he wanted to do that? Perhaps it was a goodbye when note. When you said Jimmy wanted to leave everything behind and go, is that connected to the goodbye note? Yes. Jimmy hated what he'd done. No, he didn't. He'd been fighting Hugo for well, all his life. Well, I might agree with that. He didn't seem kind of nice. Making him do all those bad things. Jimmy didn't want to live anymore. Oh, I was actually kind of saying it. Water? Sink? Second floor, maybe the bathroom. Let's go check it out. Well, if Rose didn't don't need that ring, takes it and slip it in Jimmy's pocket, and you picked up oh, Jimmy. You, uh, uh, yes, Jimmy. I wish. Maybe you could a toe ring, a pinky toe ring. But with true love, who needs a ring when you have each other's hearts? So, I guess I'm going to go to the bathroom up here, right? Alright, so it's not the main bathroom. I don't know if it's 222 or if it's. Oh, but he's up here now. That's cool. Shit. I haven't been bonked. Come to me. Come to me, Jimmy. Is it like a three-way if I get Jimmy and Hugo at once? Asking for myself. Jimmy, there's enough room in here. Come on. I'm cold. I need to feel your warm frying pan-sized hands all over my butt. Cup me. Cup my butt. He's in the bathroom. He's definitely in the bathroom. We're about to get popped again. <sighs> about to get popped. If I just take one step over there, we're boned. Okay, hang on. I heard his voice in the hall, so maybe he's not. So I guess if we hear his voice, then we know, right? Jimmy? Okay. Ah! Jimmy, he's sort of in there. I need Jimmy's cuddles. I need to feel what he feels. Oh yeah, I can't use it anymore. Is it Rose? Is it Rose? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I saw you in a room upstairs. It looked like you found someone in the bathroom. What happened? It's the only one person I can do. It was Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Telling the truth about his about the ring, about him being split personality. You're either telling the truth about who the did the wedding ring belong to? Oh, I had mastered that. Moment. It was mine. Someone made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Was when you it? said you had to tell Jimmy the it, truth, is that connected to the wedding ring? Okay. 
This is important. This is important stuff here. This is a serial killer's life. I saw some suitcases in a chest. Who did they belong to? Well, if you had to tell them the truth... They were mine. What was the truth? I wanted to go away, but I never got the chance. I know it's not. When you said you had to tell Jimmy the truth, is that connected to what you said about the suitcases? Is it the scrapbook again? Is it the scrapbook? Like, did you tell... Or did you tell him about... I can't say this. I heard a man shouting at someone, telling them to do as he says. Who was he? I never knew what he wanted. There was only one thing I could give him. Uh, okay, so I can mention that. Did you give him alcohol? The wedding ring? You said there was only one thing you could give Hugo. Is that connected to the wedding ring? Oh, so it is Hugo. Alright, so she is talking about Hugo. Some sort of weird psychological thing. She could give Hugo herself. I get that. I don't know how I would say that unless she killed herself with something I don't know about yet. you could give Hugo the trophies I actually don't know I'm gonna be honest I'm gonna oh he's about to like be all up in my mug too as soon as I get out of this mirror Jimmy's gonna be over there tonguing my orifices Orify, you need to ask her about the great Hugo on stage in the ring. Think about it. Something developed and an offer she couldn't refuse. Oh. Guess you're right. I hadn't put those together yet. I, I thought that another character would come along or something. Is it Rose? Yes, I'm Rose. Alright, so I will ask her about the great Hugo. You have found the missing link in the puzzle. When you said things developed with Hugo, is that connected to the wedding ring? You just ate dinner? What's going on? Uh, yes. fucking we were living the best life here. We were happy at first. Before things started to... Wait, who, who did she say she was married to? Who? The ring was mine. Someone made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Uh... Finding Jimmy in the back in the bathroom is is this now the wedding ring or is this now the suitcases? When you said you had to tell Jimmy the truth, the great is that connected to the wedding ring? Oh, the great Hugo is Jimmy's dad. That's confusing. Oh, she didn't even answer me on that one. You give us a ma magician, an entertainer. He bought the hotel to promote his stage show. He became famous. I worked as his assistant when things developed. I'm so confused. I thought Rose was his mom. Rose is his mom. When you said things developed with Hugo, is that connected to what you said about the Hugo Punch poster? But Jimmy is more handsome. She just she's not even answering me now. She's like, ah, I got nothing I got nothing for you. When you said things developed with Hugo, is that connected to what you said about the suitcases? The suitcases. 
Oh, she doesn't even want to talk about that. She's like, you need to get back to talking about why when I saw him in the bathroom, Hugo and I were married. We were happy at first before things started to change. So am I... What's going on in my head here? Who... I thought Hugo is Jimmy's alternate personality. How can he be married to Rose if Rose is Jimmy's mom? Unless it's some kind of weird fucking pedophilia. She's she's not there anymore. What the actual fuck is going on here? I'm I'm a little All right, Rose, what you thinking about? What floor are we going to? Thinking about thinking about room 305. The great Hugo is named Hugo and Jimmy was born. Who the fuck is, uh, Harvey then? I thought Harvey was his dad. I am confused. I'm a bit perplexed. The tiniest of bits. I thought Rose was Jimmy's dad. Rose cheated on Harvey? Okay, Rose cheated on Harvey with the great Hugo. But the great Hugo was not... Was not the Hugo that's Jimmy's alternate personality. That's, that's, what's, that's what you're saying to me. I need to go to 305. This is 308. This is the real one. Hugo Punch was made to mock and basically bash. Okay, okay, because he punches Hugo. I found a toy for a baby. Come on. Nothing. All right, so 305 was important. Okay, so the great Hugo. See, that's where I was getting confused with. The great Hugo and Hugo Punch. I was like, what the fuck? But then the whole how Hugo Punch got his persona in order to bring people to the I'm hotel is weird. If I told Jimmy where we were, can I have cuddle time with him? Of course. I mean, I get first dibs, but... But you can you can definitely cuddle too. You can have my cuddle uh, leftovers. All right, so we went to three hundred five. We found the baby rattle. Now I've got to follow follow my heart. No, the compass. Uh, he's gonna find me soon. I haven't been bonked in a while. Yeah, there he was. There he was. I'm, I'm fucking out ski. I'm fucking out ski. Oh, I'm dead. I'm fucking dead AF. I am fucking dead. I am dead as dead can be. Senpai! 
hold me closer, senpai dancer. Definitely getting fucked. That's for sure. There's no doubt in my mind. He's coming back. He didn't. He usually comes back. That's weird. Okay. So we're surviving. It's just really hard to get where we need to go with him in the way. I don't know which way he went. to the third floor which he's probably already on Jesus <laughs> you love Jimmy well you're gonna have to share that love cuz you know you're not the only one you're not the only one that loves a Jimmy senpai He's still gonna be on the fucking third floor. I mean, that was so fast. We only had like one key, two keys he could have taken. Now, while I go fri frivolously search for Trevor Room, to be at, come at us again. Actually seems kind of dead. You know what? Yeah, the the needle seems dead. Let's go down to the ground floor and work our way up. Go to the kitchen, take a look, and look. It's a reading rainbow. And kind of figure things out. somewhere I don't think so okay let's figure something out here is it really gonna tell me the third floor again <laughs> reading rainbow was pretty great there are a lot of good shows back then about reading I don't even remember them all I just know that I used to sit like during the summer as like a eight year old kid and like worship them what is that a flower? A stovetop stuffer? The ham the hamburger helper guy? Well, something on the second floor. <laughs> Looked like a handkerchief flower, the hamburger helper glove guy. The second floor. Hamburger helper glove guy. Hamburger helper, helper, helper. Well, he was on three. Maybe one, so hopefully he's not on two. Two seventeen. Damn you. Why keeps 
pointing backwards. You're damn right I walk fast. I gotta, sh I gotta shuffle that shit back and forth. I don't get fucking bonked. I already have a compass, and this is gonna have a mirror. I don't need any of that crap. God darn it. I need to look at the mirror again, I guess, up here. Now that I'm on the right floor. You know, it'd be great if I could get at least the deadbolt key for this room while I'm in here. I don't, I don't need the compass. Uh, there are just no more keys. Oh, where, oh, where could my sin pipe? Oh, where, oh, where could he? Oh, there he is. Like, I know the arrow's pointing back behind me, but every time I go there, it turns, it changes. Okay. How about a key? No. I want to check the other drawer. You want to let me check the other drawer? Okay. Look, what is the cloth hamburger helper glove guy? What what is what is that? What what is this? What the actual fuck am I looking at? Is this a flower? Is this a smiley face toy? Is this pill? Is this popping fresh? Are you really asking, or is it rhetorical? It's. It's it's mainly rhetorical, Mori. <laughs> Thank you for asking. It's just me being a little extra. However, in the next few minutes, if I don't figure it out in the hallway, it may become an actual question. It is the baby toy? Well, I've already got the baby toy. Okay, yeah, I got the baby toy. But, like, what the hell do they want? Like, it keeps... I think it's pointing to 217. I, I get I'm supposed to ask about it, but where the hell is she? I, I don't have her to ask about it. I don't know where she is. I'm supposed to I'm supposed to play with it, duh. Is someone there? I don't remember where she is. So, but I don't have anywhere to talk to her right now. Like, she moved. I'm pretty sure she moved, like, to a different place. And I think the uh, compass is trying to tell me where to go, but every time I go to one area, it spins back. And then I go to that area, and it spins back again. She should still be there if you haven't made that match. I think I, I, think I made a match just recently with uh, the r not with the ring and the thing but I don't remember it was something I'm supposed to let Jimmy know where you are with it good point let me uh, let me just do that real quick hey 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 Come get you some, Jimmy. Come get you some. <laughs> dual stories. See, Jimmy and I have dual stories also. I'm always um, getting all in his DMs, and he's never answering me or sending me any thirsty pics. <laughs> See, Jimmy just doesn't get it, like... I'm all about him. Wait. I need to reset like this room or something. Let me let me go back down to the to, or let me go to the room or something for a second. I heard his I heard his ass creeping up on me. 
Let's just kind of like reset. Let's get away from uh, Senpai for a minute and distance ourselves. So I can kind of, you know, like reassess my worth. Yeah, there's nothing to be found in here. Maybe I, maybe I can find like, some keys or something real quick. I'm just stalking him, watching him, keeping an eye on him. I mean, like, oh, God. Do you have your your cell phone locator on? I need to be able to find you. So this is, like, her room. Or, like, one of them. Or maybe the room the guy was staying in. Oh, what's his face? The Great Hugo. What the hell are you doing up here already? Getting me all boxed in and whatnot. So I don't get is he keeps the coiled like wire on him all the time, but it's in some random drawer. I disagree. Alright, so we, we lured him up here. That's all we really wanted to do. He's coming for that ass. <laughs> He's gonna get him some of that juicy, juicy peach fuzz. Alright, so on the second floor. I gotta find the room she's in, wherever she's at, so that I can ask her about the god darn baby rattle. Alright, so see, look, it, it's pointing this way, unless it's pointing like... Unless it was pointing like... No, I mean, it's, it's pointing this way. Like, it is clearly pointing that way. Now, I went into 217, that wasn't it. It's definitely not 218. Now, I go here, it's pointing back. God damn it, he already in here? You bastard. Like, it's gotta be pointing to like 223, right? Hey, who's Tedbot? <laughs> Tedbot's this bastard that, uh, Nazi in chat that's always trying to tell people, like, what's up. Ignore him. I mean, I'll try talking to her here a second again. Who's there? I can hear you. Okay, so let's ask you about this here, Rat. Is it Rose? I was just getting dramatic about it. We're here. We're where we need to be. Who did the baby's rattle belong to? It was for the baby. I kept it in my bedside drawer. What baby? Like you got. When you said you had to tell Jimmy the truth, does that have something to do with the baby's rattle? Senpai needs to give me some good cuddle. She doesn't know anything about the baby rattle. All right. She didn't know anything about it. So the baby rattle was not uh, telling him the truth. See, I thought telling him the truth would just be the ring, right? But I went to the ring, and it didn't work. When you said you had to tell Jimmy the she truth, doesn't know anything is about that connected it to the wedding ring? To the sighting you picked. Oh. I got one more item. So, so you're saying that it's relating to man shouting and child cry? Oh, okay. You know what? Keyword there, child. Keyword. Missing. You said there was only one thing you could give Hugo. Does that have something to do with the baby's rattle? I'm just gonna like go away here. You I'm not having a child. You know. Okay, so I still don't know what I had to tell him the truth was, unless that's baby rattle too. Baby rattle pop. But we already said that, so what do you think? What do you think she had to tell him the truth? Uh, she had to tell him about the chef's hat. Look, you were born to be a chef. 
This part is very convoluted. Probably check the mirror first. Not a bad idea. Oh, he's 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 right up in my ass. I think. Maybe. Uh, it's a hallway in, or it's the lobby leading up to the elevator. And that's something. Maybe that might be some answer for me. Is it Rose? Is it Rose? Yes. I'm Rose. Oh, shit. What is it? I feel like we can figure this out, at least right here. Had to tell him the truth. The newspapers found out. Oh, that the newspapers found out? No. That the... Yeah, Rose is still here. That whiskey wasn't the answer. Uh, she doesn't care about telling him about the broken glass. The coil of wire that he needs to take his medicine. I tried the wedding ring. And I tried the suitcases. All right, guys. Just tell me this much. Do I have the item that I need to ask her about? Or do I need to go down and figure something out? If you know that, I'll take that bit of info. I do not have the item. Okay. Okay, thank you. How do I get back downstairs? Also need to check some more rooms then, if that's the case. He's just fucking, like, gotten backed into a corner here. Ha! Ah! <laughs> Shit! He sounded a million miles away! Like a million fucking miles away! God damn it! He did! He really sounded like he was a fucking million miles away! Oh shit, man! Oh, I'm so glad I'm not playing this on like the hardest difficulty. I would lose all my items. Fuck me! God, have mercy on my poor, pathetic soul. Sorry guys. <laughs> Hope it's not too loud. I mean, screaming like a banshee. I, there's something about it I enjoy because I don't nothing ever scares me. Like I don't like jump scares. Like jump scares don't work on me. But it's like it's almost like a funny scared. It's like a it's almost like something falls on your head scared, not like you see like a big scary monster jump out, you scared. It's almost just like, oh fuck! <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and and again, I just want to get as close to sit high as uh, still have me. All right, so what is it about this hall? Not yet. Not yet. Not not from here. One more back, maybe? Go up the elevators and click on it. Shit, shit. Ah! Stupid little rat 
do what I tell you to, not the key. Deep, 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 deep down. This is hit by Psyche. Okay, Maya. Wait, is there a key down at my feet? That's interesting. Basement store. Oh, yeah. Alright, so is this one of those things I can talk about? Or is this one of those things where I can use? Um, okay. Shouting and falling. Yeah, I can't actually use the key. Oh, excuse me. I can. Or I sh think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think, therefore, I have a brain. Gotta love it when a game has a door. I woke up in the elevator. <laughs> Let's see if Jimmy's around. You just don't. Oh, sweet. Let that go. All right, what do we got on this table here? It looks like a laptop. No, it's a radio. Found Jimmy Hall's birth certificate. North Yorkshire, Scarborough. Entry number 129, non-metropolitan district of Scarborough, James Alexander Hall, male, uh, Hugo Reginald, name and Hugo Reginald Hall, Shamia, my beard in India, is the physician, stage magician, school teacher, Rosemary Dolores, hotel proprietor, Jones, they don't tell all the address and stuff, imagine that. All right. The order of some of this is a little strange to me. But that's okay. What room is that? I, don't know, it's, it's, I know it's like all the way around a corner on the second It's like... It's like a... Two... Two twenty-three? Thanks, Maury. Just laughing or something for a second. 223, you say. Very last room. Oh, wait. I was about to say, what the fuck happened to my uh, compass? But it's back. Just around the door, Ben. Alright, let's have another chat. Hello. Let's. let's Let's reconvene. I can hear you. Good. It's a good start. So. Is it Rose? Tell me about the shouting and falling in the elevator. Yes. I heard a man shouting and a child crying. What happened? Hugo was a violent, evil, sick man. Okay. Uh. Tell me if this has anything to do I with I found Jimmy's birth certificate. certificate. It says Hugo Hall is Jimmy's real father. Jimmy is Hugo's son in every way. Yeah. And Hugo apparently was a uh, scary, scary man. When you said you had to tell Jimmy the truth, does that have something to do with what you said about Jimmy's birth certificate? Jimmy, your dad is this guy! Kitchen, maybe, or in the basement. Oh. God damn it, he's already on the prowl. How much choice 
here, do we? I can't move. Not much choice. Okay, we'll see. I'm gonna consult my mirror while uh, Senpai has his walk outside. His cuddle time is uh, very important to him. If he doesn't get it, he has to go. Uh, he has to go clubbing to uh, quite get that. Yeah, so you gotta go to, yeah, I, 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 I thought it was the one by the kitchen, but it looks like it's in the basement. All right, so. Oh. It's the door outside the elevator is near the basement by the, the closet of the basement. He's going to club us again, man. Every single time I, I come out here and I hear you sounds like he's far away, he's just like, yo. All right, thank God. Oh, thank goodness. Just around the basement bend. Oh, he's getting fucking whipped in here. Is it not this room? Ouch. Yeah, I thought it was like this room, right? Maybe I just have to look down the hall at it. Sin pie waits. You will do what you need to do to understand me. Oh, she got the fuck his world up. Yeah, you get him, bro. Attacking someone with a bat. Is it Rose? Rose, did you just uh, serve out some social justice? Yes, I'm Rose. Rose. Oh, Rose. I saw you with a wooden bat attacking someone. Like who was it? Mother and father, like son. Hugo. I buried him down there in concrete in a secret room. I should have done it sooner. I let him abuse Jimmy for too long. It was my fault Jimmy turned out the way he did. Well, she has some sympathy. I thought the guilt would go away if I told Jimmy. I was wrong. It justified it the boy. I couldn't take if it's good for life. mommy, it's I good for me. Yeah, she couldn't live with herself. Uh, all right, how did she kill herself? She strangled herself with the baby rattle. Uh, did you kill yourself with the washing line too? Why was there a washing line tied around a rolling pin? Did you use the same thing that the uh, doctor used? I don't know anything I about don't that. Know anything about that. Uh, do you still have the gun? Maybe. You just the gun belong to. You still have the gun. Harvey, but it was kept in my bedroom. There you go. Did you go bang bang? When you said you couldn't live with yourself, does that have something to do with what you said about the gun? It's messy. What do you mean you don't know? That's pretty. You could be like, hey, you know, sort of. Or how about shouting and falling at the. Okay, if we did the shouting and falling of the elevator, I don't think that really matters. Hugo is a violent sick man. Hydrate. Well, look at you. you. You caught me off guard. I only have a little bit left. So I promise when I get up here in a minute, 
I'll bring back a, a big guzzle for you. A big gulp, 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 gulp. Oh, uh, shit. Rose attacking someone with a bat. Uh, she couldn't live with herself. Did she fall on the sword? Who does the dagger belong no, to? No, not the dagger. The sword. It was a letter opener. It was a present from someone. I mean, maybe she used it. I think she would use... When you said you couldn't live with yourself. The sword, maybe? Does that have anything to do with what you said about the dagger? To it, senpai. I don't know. Well, I'm not far off. Come on, there's a lot of weapons here. Where's the sword? Did you did you hit yourself with the bat? Did you did you take some of his own medicine? Who does the sword belong to? It belonged to the suit of armor we had, but it went missing. But I mean, if it went missing, she didn't she didn't do crap with it. When you said you couldn't live with yourself, does that have anything to do with what you said about the sword? What about the medicine or the. Alright, so you killed yourself with the crossbow. Where was the crossbow from? <laughs> Gurk! It was from a display Harvey used to have. But I didn't like it being in the hotel. I couldn't accept what I'd done, I couldn't realize that. She didn't write the goodbye note. Uh, she's like, I couldn't live with myself, I decided to become a cook. Or the hat. Why was there a collection of whiskey bottles in one of the rooms? I don't think she cares about the whiskey bottles or the dangerous heater. Harvey must have put them there. She has. Well, she said that uh, Jimmy broke the mirror. When you said you couldn't live with yourself, is that connected to what you said about the broken the mirrors? Did she cut same mirror that Jimmy broke? That wouldn't. Uh, let's let's um let's see if I can use the mirror somewhere. I can use it in here maybe. No, it's too bright. No look at the mirror. Just like just look at it. Click item to see each spirit's reply. Uh, I didn't see. I don't remember that. Jimmy broke the mirror. Amy didn't have an answer. Look at look at the mirror. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Is someone there? I can hear you. Uh. Shouting in the elevator and falling. Shouting and falling elevator. Is it Rose? Yes. Go ahead, Queen. Spin it out. Where, uh, where are we getting at here? Hugo was a violent, evil, and sick man. Uh, what does that have to do with the baby rattle? You said Jimmy is Hugo's son. Does that have something to do with the baby's rattle? Of course it does. Jimmy is Hugo's son. I mean, I already asked this question, which is weird. Maybe it'll just open a few things up. You said Jimmy is Hugo's son. The one you get Does that your, oh. have something to do with what you said about Jimmy's birth certificate? <laughs> I'm a little I'm a little dumb sometimes. I know you said that. I was trying to look at the mirror in a dark place. Usually you can do it in the storeroom, but the storeroom wasn't dark, so I couldn't look at it there. I was actually in the process of trying to look at the mirror. But I'm going to have to go up to the ground floor kitchen. And hopefully Senpai will be standing right behind me and I'll get a glimpse of that glorious, beautiful being. Alright, let's, uh, let's head to the kitchen real quick. 
And actually, here in the kitchen is where we will end this episode. So, when we return, we're going to check, check, really country, check out the mirror and see what we should do next. Until then, this has been Teddy V coming at you.